All right. Well, I guess I'll just start it off. I like that. Oh, a little saucy. What is up, guys? Welcome to the first ever Man Cave podcast. I am here today with Steven Shapiro. Okay. Oh. Um, so, yeah, this is the first ever podcast. I literally just got this thing. I'm still learning how to use it. I, I feel really uncomfortable right now. You look great, though. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. So, uh, welcome, guys. This, I guess it's, I, I should call it the Man Cave podcast. It's kind of my name right now. That might not be the same a week from now. Might it, change. That sounds good. It's got a nice ring to it. Yeah. We're in the man cave, so might as well. Um, but yeah, we're just messing around, starting this thing off. So welcome, Stephen. Thank you. How awesome. are you doing today? Absolutely amazing. Woke up kind of hungover. Okay. Why is that? What did you do last night? I went to, um, I went to a concert. And you, know, you can't go to a concert without a few adult beverages. <laughs> soda so, pops? Uh, soda, with a few exactly. soda pops. Thank you. And um, yeah, I, I had... Too many soda pops, I guess you'd say. Who, who was uh, playing? What was the concert? The story so far, you know, some... Uh, never never heard of them until yesterday when you told me you were going. <laughs> some uh, emo stuff that I shouldn't emo, be listening to some anymore. sad boy stuff? <laughs> exactly. It was good, Charlotte. Did you wear ripped jeans? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. cool. I just wanted to make sure. It's actually part of the dress code, um, quite contrary to Kentucky, I guess. Oh, but yeah, that's right. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was interesting. That was a fun trip. That was a yeah, fun trip. Yeah, so... Um, Care for some Baileys? I would love some. Go ahead and top yourself off there. Thank you. That's, that's something I want to do in every podcast. I feel like whoever I sit down with, we should just have a drink, talk about life. Oh, you got to go a little heavier than that. Go a little heavier? Yeah. Cool. I'll, I'm going to peer pressure you. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Absolutely. It just smells nice. You know, it, it, it smells. Does. It smells like a it's, good morning. It smells rich. Mm -hmm. it makes you feel rich. Like, why don't they have this at like Dunkin' Donuts? I don't know, you know? Just Maybe. Drive through? Maybe that's the next business Probably venture. Probably not. No. Cheers. Cheers. Sorry, I didn't even give you anything to mix it up with. Just um, straight Baileys. It's quite all right. <clears throat> cool. So, for those of you who don't know Stephen, um, me and Stephen met several years ago. What, it's been almost two and a half years now. Um, fast forward to now, we're business partners. We started a channel called The Daily Dropout together. And that's going really well. But I wanted to kind of just backtrack a little bit and tell the story of how we met because I think it's just a great story. And um, yeah, I'll let you kind of just run with it. Yeah. I, I, it's funny because I think about that story all the time. And it's so weird. It's just how, so life, weird. how life is. So weird. And, you know, it's funny. Obviously, I'll explain the story. But the actual <clears throat> video that we made mm -hmm. keeps popping up on my recommended <laughs> for some reason it's like youtube doesn't know that i'm in it or something but they're like you should watch this but um yeah i think to kind of give a a backstory here um you know i was a young young lad it was probably what 2017 how old are you now 27 27 yeah so you're probably 24 yeah. yeah so maybe beginning of 2017 i think it's like march right spring yeah. break um Spring yeah. break. Hey. How'd you guys meet? Spring, Spring break. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> that hit the wrong button. I'm still learning right. the button. Yeah. I guess that's just the machine speaking to me. That that one works too. <laughs> um, yeah. So, you know, I'm on YouTube. Obviously I watch pranks and if I'm watching pranks, then who else am I watching than you and like Vitaly and, you know, the, the big guys. And um, you announced that you're doing this like fan what would you count competition yeah i i would say so i think the whole thing was like follow me on snapchat and instagram and uh that's how you enter the giveaway and basically what you're entering is <clears throat> we rented out a massive like mansion on the boardwalk in san diego right off the water and the whole thing was we were gonna fly you out let you party with us during spring break and we would feature you in a big dos tv youtube video that was the whole giveaway which i need to do another one by the way because that was a lot of fun that was, that was one of the best weeks of yeah, my life actually <laughs> same. this is crazy from start to finish it yeah. was just insane but um yeah it, it was one of those things where you know i watched the video and i was telling people like oh i'm gonna I'm gonna enter this and they're all like yeah those good things good luck those things that. aren't real yeah exactly <laughs> um i'm assuming this is a, a dumb question here but we can curse on this Fuck. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Frick. Frick. 
Um, yeah, I remember telling people, like telling my brother, he's like, uh, yeah, good luck with that. You're an idiot. Like he's just going to pick his friend, you know, and make it look like he's actually doing these things. Right. So people, Which people think we actually did. People think that we knew each other before this. Oh, the comments are hilarious. Like yeah. now. Like, oh, it's a set up. He's yeah. a YouTuber. Yeah, exactly. But at the time I had what, like 76, not even a hundred subscribers. I don't think right. like, <clears throat> um, and so I entered and I don't think I didn't, I didn't win right away. I don't think. Because remember, I had um, I'd sent you the videos, right? Uh -huh. um, and and what I was doing also is like so basically, I was gonna have a five fan out, but I also had five slots in the house where I said fans can pay for these slots, right? For X amount of dollars per night. Mm -hmm. And at first, you were interested in paying to come out, whatever. Right. You were living in San Francisco at the time, and you were interested in doing that. And and you sent me your videos, like, oh, cool, like yeah, it'd be fun. You should definitely do it. Cause that's kind of how we were helping pay for the mansion <clears throat> and you just were like at the end of it you're like oh, like i really really want to but i might not be in the best position to do this right now so you know maybe next time yeah i think i think my thought process was still thinking that like okay this very well might be like rigged mm -hmm. it like you having a friend win so if i got a slot in the house then at least i'd be able to be there to have the potential to make a video right you know what i mean um, and so kind of fast forward a little bit, I ended up sending you some of the pranks that I had already done because I had started doing pranks on YouTube. I think I sent you, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> the drag is that still on your channel? Oh yeah. The drag racing. Yeah. We might want to roll that clip real quick in the oh. bottom corner of the screen. Cause Gosh. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know what outrageous. I was, I was like, this guy's belligerent. He's great. Yeah. I think I need to do another part of that. If yeah. you want to do it with me. 1000%. Beautiful. So basically I was like, okay, this is, this is our guy. Yeah. This guy needs to be the one that comes out and makes the video because I was like, honestly, we're going to make a great video. We're going to have a great time. He seems like a cool guy. I was like, let's pick this guy. And, um, so I got an email from you. You, re you remember what it said? I do not remember. Okay. So I'm at work, like a regular corporate job, right? <laughs> Where I'm legitimately managing people and then i see in my inbox pop up because i saw on my phone i get all the emails there first and it was like from big dots tv and then like i i like i was like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> and uh, everybody's just like whoa what, what's happening right now so i like ran to my computer and i opened the email and all it said was you won bitch <laughs> 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 which i think is like the best foreshadow to like the rest of time you know what i mean so it's like literally just says you won bitch that's it that's it was there a period there i don't think i think there was an exclamation point i i hope there was <laughs> <laughs> but um oh dude i was so happy i was so happy. like what is wrong with this guy yeah right um and i i remember thinking like pretty naive looking back on it but i remember thinking like this is it like this is going to change my life like whatever you know this is this is that break that I needed, you know, to just kind of like kickstart what it is that I actually want to be doing in life. And everybody who I worked with, you know, pretty like typical corporate snob is like, oh, that's cute. You're going to go make a little pranky prank. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like amazing. That's that's sick. And so I remember telling my boss, I was like, yeah, I'm going to need some time off. Uh, <laughs> is, something came up. <laughs> this is really like, important <laughs> stuff. Yeah. He's like, well, what is it? I'm like, well, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go make it make a video. It's like my my favorite YouTuber invited me to make a video, and they're like, okay, I still don't see why you need to take off time <laughs> for work for this. Like, this is your career, you know. And I'm like, just shh, just trust me, you know. They're like, I, I got it. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I, anything I'm missing there that you want to kind of. Can, can you talk about where you were working at the time? Yeah. Um, I was doing uh, management for Yelp, which is a online directory. Um, essentially helps you find businesses, local businesses around uh, the United States and pretty much globally. But I was managing a team of anywhere from 10 to 12 people to meet our uh, revenue quotas monthly. Okay, and what what did that look like? Like, what did that consist of? Like, your day to day. Day to day is essentially strategizing with each one of my employees to create the best business plan to you know contact local businesses and get them on board with um, Yelp's product, which is um, local advertising space. So, 
day to day going in and just like sitting down with each one of the employees is like, okay, we have this business, you know, how can we create the best business plan for them to make them not only see the value in, in Yelp, but the value in spending money with Yelp. And so I was responsible for like a quarter million dollars a month worth of revenue to come to the company. And so okay. it, it becomes quite high <laughs> stress when, you know, the month is over in five days and you're, you're nowhere near that. Right. So I remember I was nowhere near my number when all this happened. Really? And so to be like, yeah, sorry, I got to leave for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bold move by you. Definitely. You're, bold you're putting everything on the line. Everything. Yeah. Because that's like with these kind of jobs, it's not really the type of job that you can just fuck around and, and leave mm -hmm. because when you leave, there's 12 people who are like running around with their heads chopped off like chicken, you know, they're like, Oh shit. Well, who do I ask now? You know what I mean? They got to find somebody else, another manager on the floor who's busy with their own 10 to 12 people. Wow. You know, so, but I think, you know, if it's something that you're passionate about, if it's something that you want to do, then, you know, fucking chase it. Yeah, right? absolutely. <laughs> so <clears throat> I pick you up from the airport. We go to the mansion, start having some fun, immediately start drinking, you know, mm -hmm. enjoying ourselves. Um, and I think uh, we filmed that night as well. Like I picked you up from the airport. We went to the house. Yep. We had some beers and I was like, okay, let's, you know, go out and do a little test run because the video was supposed to be picking up girls with a fan, I believe. Is it, that what the video was? Yeah. And which I had never done before. Never. And you guys know Steven now as the pickup God. <laughs> That's aggressive, but I'll that think that deserves one of those. One of <laughs> no, I think it deserves one of one of no, which nope. one is it? I'll take that one. That one's yeah. good. That one's good. Just let it sink in. Oh. Let us think again. Mm. Pick up God, feels, Stephen Shapiro. That feels nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's funny because <clears throat> we start filming this video. Sorry, my dogs are barking. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But we start filming this video, and we were, we were filming for probably two, three hours. I was like, God, this is not going to work. This guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get a single yeah, number. I think you, you got probably 30 clips and not a single girl gave you her number. Mm. And we had a conversation afterwards and you're like, look, man, if I need to shave my mustache, I'll do it. <laughs> and I was like, that's dedication, uh, dude. I was like, we might need to, but like, I also don't want to like make you change yourself. Like that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> I just come back an entirely different person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. So that was the first day. And I was like, all right, you know, sometimes, sometimes the energy will just shift. So when you're filming prank videos, a lot of times you'll be out there for, two hours and not get anything and then all of a sudden i like to say it comes in spurts so like you get a whole video in 30 minutes time but you got to go through that that failure first one of my favorite quotes fail forward so i was like oh this guy he's <clears throat> he's pretty great pretty good looking pretty good personality i think it's gonna happen i, I don't think it could suck that bad <laughs> So the next day we wake up and I think it was St. Patrick's Day, which might have been in your favor. Yeah, probably. But it was just money all day. Oh, yeah. Just crushing, getting numbers. I think we filmed the video in like two hours, had some drinks in between, and then we just celebrated the uh, the, the whole time after that. Super hard. Yeah. Super hard. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I went to, what is the district in uh, uh, San Diego called? Uh, <clears throat> it's on the tip of my tongue. Gas lamp. Yeah. Yeah. So we went out there, had a good time. Great time. It was awesome. That house was super cool. Super cool. And you know, it's funny. Um, so the night before, you know, obviously I, I couldn't sleep because I was excited. Right. right. This is the night before you flew to San Diego. Correct. Yeah. Um, but you were in San Francisco. I don't think we. Yeah, I was in San Francisco at the time. That. So not, not too far. But I, um, I remember getting a phone call from Jack, right, mm -hmm. who, uh, I don't know. Who I was business partners with at the time. We were working on, basically, this was a campaign sort of deal for um, the party, the bottle opener deal. I don't have my keys on me, but um, we created a bottle opener that was made where you could shotgun, et cetera. And Jack was who I was working on um, this project with, which he'll be on the podcast at some point. But um, And so... Jack calls me, right? You know, tip Jack just like, come on, you know, <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. Time to get stuff done. <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey, buddy, it's uh, it's Jack. I'm, the, you know, partners with Dawson. I'm like, what's up, man? <laughs> and I'm already like, you know, scared shitless, right? And so he's like, cool, yeah. So I just wanted to run through the plan with you. Um, tomorrow we're gonna pick you up. Uh, you're gonna film picking up girls, right? I'm like, 
oh shit. You know, I thought, <laughs> I thought like we were going to do like a video together. This you know is all mean? you. Yeah. And so I find out that like, I'm the only one who's going to be in the video. Oh dude, <laughs> I don't, I don't think I slept a wink. Like I was, oh, I was just like, you're oh. like, this is going to be either really good or really bad. Yeah. It's probably really bad. Probably really bad. I've never done any picking up girls. I, I, I tried once. I did like picking up girls with a banana phone and I got just shit on at Berkeley. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, this is going to be great. But yeah, um, that was definitely a incredible time. That, that was one of the best times of my life, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And then, so that was in March, 2017. Mm-hmm. Fast forward about nine months later, you ended up so you're still in San Francisco at the time. So tell me about the process of from when we met mm-hmm. um, to when you moved to Phoenix and from when you lived in Phoenix to when we actually started working together because there was a good year, year and a half gap yeah. in between that where we didn't even like really talk a lot. Mm-hmm. We stayed in touch yeah, like every couple of months, you know. You would, you would hit me up and be like, oh, I saw that video you made. It's good. You know, keep going. Oh, that was <laughs> that pretty nice. Yeah. I don't know what, ch- <laughs> I don't know how it changed so yeah. much, but um, yeah. So basically the gap there, um, I came back from that trip and I remember oh, getting that text from you. It's like, all right, man, I'm about to drop it. About to drop that video. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. So I was at work again and um, <laughs> I like put up on the screen, the live subscriber count. Right. So mm-hmm. you could see it just like, oh, yeah, because I shouted out your channel. Right. So you could see it just like bump up. And so you drop the video and I have the live subscriber count up and like starting all, at 90 or whatever. It yeah, was, I was like 96, like almost uh, at 100 triple all, digits. That's dude. right. Pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was all my work friends and family. But <laughs> um, so you're like, all right, I'm about to drop it. I'm like, cool. I have the live subscriber count up <clears> and um you drop the video. I have like all my employees like watching over my shoulder, just like it says 96, <laughs> no. dude. You drop the video. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, obviously I didn't know, right? So I was expecting like drop the video. Ding, 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 like the, the, the video is like five minutes long and right. it's not till afterwards where we're like, oh, check out his channel, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. You're and sitting there just like, dude, literally I, like all of us were like, uh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. Um, and so nothing's happening. I'm like, Oh, this is kind of embarrassing. Like I, you know, I was like, I'm going to go make this video. It's going to like change everything like uh, X, Y, and Z. And, um, yeah, so it probably took a good, like six minutes, but once that six minute mark hit and like people started seeing, you know, the end that was like, Uh Oh yeah. Um, if you liked the video, go subscribe to Steven. And it was just like, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I was like running oh, around yeah. the office like oh, let's go let's go <laughs> we were like what the hell is going on but yeah dude that was absolutely incredible that's but awesome so how many subscribers did you get from that video would you say like within all like all. within I wouldn't say you can really necessarily track it till now but like the first like you know week or two whatever I'd say in the first week or two it was probably something like six seven thousand okay just crazy and then it continued to grow to about like I think it got to like 15 within a month. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was right around there, like 12 to 15. And that's when I just like plateaued from there and then would like slowly start getting a couple more as I started to put more videos out. But um, that initial boost was just so fucking crazy and such a rush. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. The and adrenaline. I, I, I made myself a few promises. One was that I wasn't going to bother you. So I didn't want to be that annoying kid that just like, you know, goes and does something like that. And then it hits you up all the fucking time. Right. So I, I pretty much, it, it's like we were dating, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and so you go, I, oh, she's really hot. I don't <laughs> want to like be clingy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm uh, just like <laughs> <laughs> sending me like nudes all the time. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I said, I said to myself that I wasn't going to hit you up. So I like legitimately just never wanted to text you because I didn't want to be that guy. Right. So okay. I, I've, fully thought in my mind it's like hey you know if he saw something in this or like you know saw some sort of future then he'd let me know um if we see a future (laughs) exactly um and so I also was like I'm gonna use this and leverage it and not be like every other person who does something like this and you know wins gets a few subscribers (laughs) never does anything again right because like it took me you know and obviously you know this better than anybody like six probably like four months to make like 20 bucks right Mm -hmm. and i'm like okay 
That's all right. It's all part of the process. It's like all right. part of the plan. But I can see how everybody else is like, oh, f- this, you know, like all this work, all these videos, et cetera, for nothing. But I told myself that I was going to absolutely grind. So I was putting out like two to three prank videos a week while working anywhere from like 40 to 60 hours. At Yelp. Nearly impossible. For yeah. the average human, definitely impossible. Right. But I am a creature. Um, and so, yeah, I told myself that I was just absolutely going to grind my ass off to make something work and that I wasn't going to pest you. Um, and so, yeah, we went like a good, I don't know, like probably a year, right? Yeah. Something like that. And then the opportunity came to um, work remotely, aka not have to be in that office. Right. And I had gone to, I graduated from ASU, so I had a bunch of friends in Phoenix. And um, I, had, I knew it was crazy cheap mm-hmm. to live here. Right. And because um, I'm living in San Francisco at the time where it's like $50 for a gallon of milk. Right. Right. So I'm like, okay, this is kind of, you know, stars aligning here. I'm going to work remotely, move to Arizona and use the free time that I'm not in the office to continue to, to make videos and things like that. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I'm putting out, you know, as many videos as I can. It's, you know, obviously a little bit harder to find somebody to film out here because I, I know friends from college. I don't know. If right. Filming friends. And then you hit me up and we're like, hey, I heard you moved to Phoenix. Um, I am starting a channel called uh, That's Humor. Or was it? Or was it That's Humor? Maybe it was. Yeah. That's Humor. Okay. Do you want to try making a video? And that was uh, picking up girls with a French bulldog. Okay. Which in turn. I totally forgot that that happened. Yeah. That, that's how we got reconnected. Right. I thought I forgot it was that humor. Right. And so um, I went out with uh, Chris to film that. And dude, I f- killed it. Like, I hate saying that about myself, but I fucking killed it. Like, every every girl was giving me their number. Like, obviously, it was mostly the dog, but... Right. Of course. But, um, yeah, and I think after that video, you started talking to me like, oh, yeah, I want to, you know, keep doing more videos. Like, if you're interested in doing that, I was like, absolutely. And then, flash forward, I think that was the only video I made for That's Humor. We never... That's Humor was actually never officially a thing. Gotcha. Um that's like a brand that we started and never did anything with. So mm-hmm. I think the French Bulldog video is on Daily Dropout. It is now, yeah. But um, <clears throat> basically, I was like, okay, let's scrap this. I, I make college videos, whatever. I feel like it would be wise to come up with like a more college-based name. I was like, I'm a dropout. Everyone that I'm working with is a dropout. I was like, how about the Daily Dropout when you make daily videos? Because nobody makes daily pranks. Like nobody, it's yeah. actually impossible unless you have a team or unless you just put out shit content. Right. So I was like, let's do the daily dropout. And that's kind of like where that was born. And that's a whole nother story where I wasn't even originally going to be doing pranks on that. It was like backdrop, like Buzzfeed styled interviews, right? which is how I met Laura and like a couple of other people. <clears throat> and I, I spent like a month doing that. Like, you know, basic questions. Like we had a list of 30 questions we brought in eight people a day, sat them down for an hour and uh, interviewed them, asked them the 30 questions. The next day we do the same thing. We did that for a week. We interviewed 40 people and we were going to chop up the 30 questions with 40 people answering them. And basically it would be like, Oh, we'd get 40 videos in a week off of this, like questions, Mm. like, you know, what's uh, your biggest college confession? Um, What is, you know, the craziest Uber ride you've ever experienced. And there's a lot of channels like that that are successful and I've seen become successful since I tried doing that and there's many channels before as well, but I just went through the footage and I was just like, number one, this is kind of shit. And I'm sure I could have made it good if I eventually found enough people that were good. But you know, most people are just like uncomfortable and like never been in front of the camera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So like the, first of all, the content shit. Second of all, I'm not passionate about this. Right. I don't, this doesn't really get my heart pumping. Like we could probably make this work, but I was like, let's revert back to square one and number one, do what I love. Number two, do what I'm actually good at. And I know how to do, and I know how to make successful. And let's kind of add this same style where we're doing pranks, we're doing interviews, maybe do skits and we're still adding challenges and different stuff to the channel. But that, that's kind of like how that was born with that. That's honestly a whole nother podcast. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. Um, yeah, so I made the video for, you know, what was to be That's Humor. Uh-huh. We didn't even know what it was going to be at that point. Right. And then um, I think something, I, you tried a couple of those, like, interview videos. Uh-huh. And then 
I remember, I don't know if you remember this, but you remember we went to go play basketball at LA Fitness? You just, yeah, you dude, I remember up. that. Yeah, super random, because like, we hadn't really talked much, right? Yeah. And you just randomly hit me up, and we're like, yo, do you want to go play basketball at LA Fitness? I was like, yeah, for sure. So we went, and we played, and then we just sat in the flatbed. Yeah, I put the, the I opened up the truck. Yeah, we sat there. I think your truck was still black at that point. That was my old truck, I think. Was it? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. I think it was your current, but just black. Okay, it gotcha. hadn't been wrapped yet. But, um, and so we're sitting in the flatbed and you're just like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to give up on this. Like, what is to be now? Daily dropout. You're like, I just, I don't want to give up on it. And I was telling you, I was like, hey, you got to do what's best for you. Because I'd been doing it for six months and uh, nothing was really working. Right. Because I, like I said, I did the backdrop interviews at first. <clears throat> And that didn't work. And then it was kind of sitting there. And I did a shout out. I said I was going to give away a phone to, you know, whoever subscribes to this channel. And it got like 15,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. And it was just sitting there with, with no videos. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Um, and I invested a lot of money into it as well. Like I had gotten the place at West Six. Right. The office. All this equipment and all that stuff. And I was like, shit, this <laughs> isn't working. Yeah. Um, and so... Yeah, I remember telling you, it's just like, look, you got to do whatever it is that you, you know, want to do, like whatever your heart tells you and whatever's going to be best, just do it. Um, and so you're like, yeah, okay, I got you. And then I think it was like two days after that, you hit me up, you, you called me and I remember, uh, or you shot me a text and you were like, hey, so I have a business proposition for you. I was like, okay. And I remember this so well because I was working in my room at the house that I was staying at. And you're still working for Yelp. Still work, time. Yeah, still working for Yelp. Um, and so I was like, okay. And then, so you, you called me and I remember just like pacing outside of my backyard. It's pretty cold. I think it was like February. And, um, you were just like, okay, so here's the idea. What is now daily dropout, right? So it's like right. daily pranks, interviews. I don't even think skits were talked about. I think they point. were, but we, we were like, it was a future idea. Right. Um, do you want to take this trip? You know, so it was me, you and Cam. Mm -hmm. We went to uh, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Maryland, I think. And Delaware, too. And Delaware. Can't forget Delaware. And Philly. We were there when the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Right. You um, interviewed little Dickie. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and, you know, it's like that was kind of the beginning stages. We just, like, went had an amazing... So what was my proposition? I mean, obviously, we're not going to talk details, but, like, what, right. what did I say the proposition was? Was to fully focus on building this let's call it like social media like mega platform right where it's like this is going to be the source for people to come to get their daily dose of entertainment okay. right and then um yeah obviously without like too much details it's like do you want to join me on this quest right and um then we then we took that first trip just to like film as much content as possible came back and started editing it and like putting it all together mm -hmm. right and um i think it was at that point where i was like okay I, you know i'm a person who if i'm passionate about something i'm gonna go all in right um, at that point is when i left yelp to start doing this all you know full time mm -hmm. um granted i was driving for lyft to uh I, I didn't oh yeah that's right i forgot about that yeah because the deal that we made was you know you you wanted to be partners on it. You wanted to be an owner, mm -hmm. so it was, it was all profit based. So right. like, all right, I'm not going to take pay. We're going to be partners on this, and we're going to be co owners. Right. And so obviously, it's going to take a little bit of time before yeah. you start getting paid. But higher risk, higher reward. That's right. And um, yeah, I, d I didn't want to. I didn't want to touch my savings. Right. So I thought, you know, everything with me is pretty thought thought about right um and so oh we got i think i have to pause this real quick uh there's probably a black screen how i gotta check this out one second give me a short break not sure how long we had that blackout for we are not sure how long that blackout was for but like we said guys this is this is the first time first podcast we're learning steven took off his sweatshirt things are heating up <laughs> that's right um so where were we 
Thank you for noticing that, by the way. Stephen just points over, and we're, we see the camera screen is black. So I didn't want to stop talking, but I was like, <laughs> we were on some good stuff. We're, we're, we're going to continue where we left awesome. off. I'll just it, it'll have a graphic on the screen. Cool. Momentary <laughs> outage. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I think about everything kind of long term, right? And it's like, okay, if I take the money that I've already made and, and not touch it, and if I can think of a way to make money to live off of, then you know. If there's no risk. There's no risk, right? Um, and so, yeah, I was driving for Lyft. Like, oh, man, my days were literally like wake up, film a video, edit it, drive for Lyft for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Which I sucked, totally forgot way. that you did that. Yeah, that sucked. That was not fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I filmed Lyft for a video and I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, not Or not filmed good. Lyft, drove Lyft. Right. Um, please, excuse me. Yeah. I'm sorry. Please do that again and I'm leaving. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I'm loving this Irish coffee. By the way, it's starting to kick in a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's so, very tasty. Um, continue. I'm I'm really intrigued by this. Yeah. Um, and so we took that first trip, and uh, I just remember just having the most fun every single day. Yeah. I was like, damn, this is incredible. Like, this is what I want to be doing. Absolutely. Forever. And that was the first trip that I took that I never filmed on mm -hmm. because the whole idea was like. I go through phases where I'm over Big Doss TV and I don't want to film at all. And then I go through phases where I want to grind my ass off and like make the best videos in the world. And I was going through like a really tough rut where I didn't want to be on camera at all. I didn't want to be known at all. I was so over it. And um, I think that's kind of actually why I started Daily Dropout in the first place was my thought process is like, dude, I don't want to be 30 years old on college campus filming videos, trying to pick up girls. Like I got to start something that's going to last forever because I need longevity, mm -hmm. get a wife, plan on having kids and which I have one now <laughs> didn't at the time, but I was just thinking longevity and I'm like, yeah, I don't think big DOS TV is going to last forever. But if I build a brand like daily dropout, that's something that can last forever. Right. So I took a step back from big DOS TV for a while and I really enjoyed just like going with you guys on the trip, not filming at all and just directing. Um, I, I was behind Cameron when he was filming and I'd come up to you and be like, oh, that was a good clip. Let's do that again or let's mm -hmm. change this or like do that. And I thought it was like awesome just like being a team doing that throughout the week. I, I had a great time doing that. Yeah, no, it was, it, everything was incredible. Um, I think I'm trying to think of like how many videos I know we got. It's funny because like five, I would say. Yeah, and I... Uh, like I have a really weird memory with these videos. I'm sure you do too. Like I mo one that I remember the most is the pillow fight one. Pillow fighting, snowball fights with strangers. Yeah. Um, damn, you're sexy, which did oh, not yeah, go well. Oh yeah, that was in Delaware. Wrong place to do that video. Total wrong place East to Coast, do that video. East Coast, kind yeah. of snobby. Um, Eagles winning the Super Bowl. Yep, that, that was, was a fun lot video. of fun. That was a great. That was video. a great night. Great night. Um, Dude, why aren't the trips this fun anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're too too focused on just getting the videos. Yeah. Getting out. Yeah. We, we had so much fun. <laughs> I know. Um, so everything is always fun in the beginning. That's, right. That's everything in life. Right. And um, yeah, there was like one more, but came back from, from that trip. And then I think the majority, you know, after coming back from the trip, for me at least, were night interviews. That, yeah, in Scottsdale. Mm -hmm. So those, those, that created a whole other dynamic in life because it's like <laughs> film, you know, a prank video, edit it drive for lift for a shit ton of time and then and then film all night film all night yeah so like and those videos usually are like from 11 to like 2. p.m to like 2 you didn't get home till 3 you sleep by 3 30 if, you, if you're lucky yeah and then wake up at like 9 do it all over <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's, it's been quite the trek yeah quite the track yeah i feel like that's a pretty good like accurate timeline of things that have happened so so now that we're partnered on daily dropout that's really kind of well-oiled machine at this point i mean we have you know you doing videos and you don't even have to do nearly as much as you did in the beginning which is amazing because we have laura who's doing videos absolutely killing it we have danny mm -hmm. uh, at u of a doing videos killing it we have kid febreze kid febreze you still on the couch over there come say hi real quick my, my favorite addition just just my colton chilling say what's up what's up <laughs> <laughs> that's colton he's uh he's only done one video which was actually his first video we got 
I think a million views already. Yeah, it's crazy. It's everyone, such everyone such loved one, him. I loved him. Um, we got Sammy. We got we got Joe, mm-hmm. Big Joe. We got Little Joe. Yep. We got. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Um, Allison. Allison. Yeah. Mallory. That, uh, the Mallory. whole the whole idea is just to have as many people as possible. And at this point, it's great because we're uploading daily, mm-hmm. and our editors are killing it. Yeah. They're Ari Reno. Grayson, Kid Febreze, Noah, everybody's doing their part. Pete's crushing the Shout articles. out to Pete. I was going to yeah. say shout out to Pete. Check out our website, dailydrop.com, Pete dropping fire articles. That's right. But yeah, so so what else are you up to now other than the Daily Dropout? Um, tell us about your personal channel. Yeah. You have a clothing brand coming out. Mm-hmm. Tell us like what you're, what you're doing with all that. Yeah, so um, the personal channel is still grinding two pranks a week, Wednesday, Sunday, 9 a.m. Um, that's... The way that I look at my personal channel is like kind of just um, a creative outlet, mm-hmm. right? So like things that wouldn't necessarily be done on the daily dropout just because it's not, you know. A, different a, styles. Different style, right? Um, I am I like to do the, the really weird ones that yeah. people, the, it, it'll probably flop, you know, but, but it's okay. But it's fun to make. It's fun to make and um, it doesn't matter. Like if it flops, it flops. So, you know, I move on and, and do another video. Um, not not going to say there's nothing there's no risk because it's still, you know, my channel. Sure but, right, exactly. But at the same time, I don't want to be so constricted by the world that I can't do what makes me happy. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so, yeah, still grinding two pranks a week on that one. Um, and then, yeah, I have a clothing brand coming out called Love You Buy. And the whole concept behind that is to make something that's just simple um, in design. So it's pretty universal. It, you don't have to know who I am. I don't want you to know who I am um, in association to that brand. Right. right. Obviously, yes, I'm going to promote it because it's, I, I, need, mm-hmm. I need it to get out there. But and where I, does the name come from? Love you, but where does that come from? <clears throat> so when I, uh, when I do that, when I do pranks, and mostly when I'm picking up girls, I don't know, I just started saying, all right, love you, bye. And uh-huh. like, always makes the girls. It's good, awkward ending. Totally. And it always makes a girl smile and, you know, kind of giggle and be like, okay, love you too. Or, or right. like, okay, you know. Um, and then I also feel like it's something that hits close to home. Like, think about it, right? How many times have you said love you bye? Like when you're on the phone, like with your folks or Kelly. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. All right, love you bye. You know what I mean? It's something yeah, that's I like that. right off the tongue. Um, and then I thought, okay, if I have this word bye and it's B-Y-E, but can be also used as B-Y, you know, let me think of something I can do with that. So then I'm like, okay, I want to donate to organizations. And so it will be love you by and then whatever that organization is. So it's like love you by the ocean and I do ocean cleanup or suicide prevention, whatever it is. Right. So it allows me to have something that's greater than just myself. Love you by the ocean. Love you by, can you give me some more examples? Like love you by the pound, donate to humane societies. Okay. I was going to say, I got a lot of pounds for you to love. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I'll love those two. Um, yeah, love but, you by happiness, like it, you know, okay. in, anything. Got it. I like it. Yeah, thanks. It's awesome. So I it's mean, like, you, you've already told me, so I can't pretend to be like, oh, wow, that's a great <laughs> idea, because I already told you that, and I'm not going to pretend like I'm surprised, because I've heard it before, but I really like the concept, and Thank the you. design's pretty sick as well. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah, so it's it's really exciting. It's um, another thing that's a lot of work, but anything worth having is a lot of work, so. Nothing comes easy. That's right. And on top of that, just the absolutely fire, I'm, I'm good right now, thanks. The absolutely fire Daily Dropout merch that's coming oh Yeah, out. let me pull that up real quick. I got some of it. it. looks like it fell on the floor. Was the hoodie that I was wearing, but it's too fire, so I had to take it off. And we got a whole bunch of other ones, probably pop up some, some PNGs on the screen right now. Dude, that was pretty good. Dude, me and my sound effects. So we got the D logo. We got the lightning bolts on the side is pretty fire. It's a great yeah. hoodie. Amazing. Go ahead and check that out, dailydropout.com. Very comfortable. Very warm. Yeah, so this is this has been fun, dude. This has been I enjoy yeah. I actually really I didn't think I'd enjoy it this much. Oh, I love it. But this is really cool. I love the podcast. Um eventually I want to put everything on like iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify. Mm-hmm. Really don't have the time for that. I'm looking at um getting someone that's gonna help me run it so I'll be able to, you know, have it everywhere. But right now, solely on the YouTube channel. If you're listening right now and you got to this point in the video, I really appreciate you guys 
listening through. So if you're at this point in the video, go ahead and comment turtle in the comments. That way I know that you're a true fan and that you listened to the 41 minute mark. That's actually incredible. So I wonder, I just really want to know if anyone listened this long. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I don't know if I would or not. Um, just because I'm on it, no. I, probably not. If yeah. it was just you, then probably. But True, true, good point. Yeah. So other than business and, and life and things like that, like what, what are you up to like in your personal life? I know you got a girlfriend, you got a new dog. Actually, one of the puppies, uh, which one of my dogs gave birth to, which is kind of <laughs> cool, kind of makes me like a grandpa. Yeah. Uh, how's everything else going? Amazing. Amazing. Um, to be entirely honest, at this very moment, I am like too busy to do anything other than anything that will doesn't like build the <laughs> anything business. fun. Yeah, I'm just too busy. I, <laughs> Welcome I think to, to my life. life. Yeah, but it's okay. I mean, I, I think you know now is the time to do it, so we don't yeah. have to do it later on in life. Ab right? Absolutely. You know? so. um, but also, those breaks are important. So, like. You know, mm -hmm. nine to five, I make sure to bust my ass. Sometimes I'll get into work at six or seven or whatever, and maybe I'll stay a little later some days. And, you know, sometimes on the weekend we have a little bit, you know, getting an upload ready, whatever. Mm -hmm. But one thing that's really helped me is, like, as soon as I get home, and Kelly is really good at making me uh, stay on top of this, like, you know, don't work, stay on top with your family, stay on top of, like, everything. Mm -hmm. Um <clears throat> And, you know, I'll still have, like, whiskey, and I'll just, like, let that be my thinking time. Right. So I don't consider it, like, actual physically working, but that's kind of, like, when I think of ideas and, like, just reevaluate, like, step back, evaluate everything. And same thing with the weekends. It, it, it makes it so much more healthy when you get back into work on Monday. You're like, all right, let's go. Yeah. I've been waiting for this. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. I, I think that's something that I'm, I'm still working on uh, for myself because. It's easier when you're a single guy. Yeah. Well, you're not single. You have Sydney. Right. It was great. Yeah, fantastic. How, how's Sydney doing? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Tell us more about Sydney. Started a new job. And she, she's so liking Stephen's somewhere. girlfriend, by the way. Yes. Sorry, ladies. Um, yeah, she started a new job that she's she's loving. She's uh, she's incredible, dude. What do you like most about her? Everything. There's not one thing that I don't like, except when she nags me, um, except oh, how on. she wakes me in the morning. Hey, we don't need to hate <laughs> the nigga. Let's hear a few positive <laughs> things. No, they, they, she... Okay, so Stephen blushing. Yeah, I am. Um, I've never met somebody who's just. It sounds cliche, but somebody who's just so selfless, right? And just she and I can tell. You, you can just tell with people when someone loves everything about you, like every imperfection, every time that you know I'm annoying the shit out of her, like whatever it is. You can just tell in the way that she looks at me, in the way that she just like is interacting with me, that she just full wholeheartedly loves me for me that's awesome yeah and oh, yeah. i feel the exact same about her that's what you should have in a relationship that's that's great yeah how's so. scout <laughs> scouts steven's he's, dog by the way yeah a little terror a little terror no he, he's honestly the best thing that's ever happened to me aside from sydney <laughs> <laughs> um yeah no he, he's incredible he, he has not pooped in the house once what yeah not once that's not normal I other know. than when he shits in his cage okay let's he, hear let's he, hear that's that's a great story no no it's not um yeah so i think we went a little too heavy on the training treats from the get-go so i mean you know it's adorable he's this big and you, know, you tell him to sit and he puts his little butt down and you give him a treat right he goes outside mm -hmm. he pees he poops you give him a treat so i'm giving him treat after treat after treat after treat and uh <laughs> oh. A lot of treats. A lot of treats. Kind of um, like the uh, too much Irish coffee. Irish I'm gonna, treats. I'm gonna shit in my cage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, it, it's funny you say that because my my stomach right now is curdling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a mixture of the oh, um, it's, it's the Irish co coffee. Yeah, coffee and the gin from last night. But it um yeah, so he's like whimpering. It's probably like uh, twelve o'clock at midnight. Um, he's like whimpering, 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 and it. It was so quick. It was so quick. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and then it just stopped. And I'm like, oh, my Lord, what is that? And I go and it's like he was Vincent Van Gogh. He's like painting his cage. With <laughs> diarrhea. Um, and that happened about like three more times that, that same the night. same night. And yeah. then you said it took you an hour and a half to clean it each time, take him out. You get a bat, you got to bathe him. him. You yeah. put him back in the cage. You wake up happens again. Yeah. And that was just a miserable, miserable time. 
<laughs> I think it's pretty funny. Yeah, Sorry, that's... I'm still getting used to the buttons. The thing, the cool thing about these buttons, you can actually put your own sound effects on there. Yeah. So you can put like you know whatever you want in each one, and then you can hit it and. Then... Are are these the preset ones? Yeah. Nice. This is the ones that it came with. He shit in his cage. Ooh, <laughs> scary. <laughs> Two hours later, <laughs> he shit in his cage again. <laughs> We got that oh. one. That, that's a good one. That's a good one. We want to say a joke. Um, why? Wh- why did the bicycle want to take a nap? Because he was tired. Too tired. Yeah. I'm Thank pretty you. good. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I like that's all the joke. buttons. Um, I think that's going to be it for today, Stephen. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for you having me. You can follow Stephen anywhere on the internet. Just Stephen, Stephen Shapiro. His name, Stephen Shapiro. That's where he's at. Um, my first podcast ever. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you guys want to show me some some uh, support, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Let me know if you want more podcasts by hitting the thumbs up button. You can also let me know in the comment section and make sure you let me know turtle. That's the code word turtle. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. And hopefully we'll make this uh, a weekly thing, maybe more, maybe a couple times a week. So yeah. Steven. Thank you for coming on the show. I really Thank appreciate you, it. It's been a great Thank time you so having much. you out. Oh. Um, well, make sure you guys tune in next time to Big Dos Vlogs for the Man Cave Podcast. All right. That's going to be it for today. And, 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 uh... Thank you, Colton. I'm going to tune in every week. It's all echoey. <laughs>